，恐怕是够他受的，那就是。我认为最愉快的事都是一闪亮的，在一段较短的时间内蹦出神奇的，如同两个人透彻的了解。一句话打到你心里，使得你理智和情感全觉到一万万分满足，如同相爱，在一个时候里，你同你自身以外另一个人互相以彼此存在为极端的幸福，如同恋爱。在那时那刻，眼所见，耳所听，心所触，无所不是美丽。情感如诗歌，自然的流动，如花香那样，不知其所以。我说：“你是人间的四月天。”笑响点亮了四面风，清灵在春的光艳中交舞着变。你是四月早天里的云烟，黄昏吹着风的软，星子在无意中闪，细雨点洒在花前。This was the best time in Lin Huiying's entire life. She was committed to writing, and she was impassioned by familial love and friendship. And by a constant urge to think and to create. That clean, that peaceful. You are the flower of the golden gate. You are the sweet, sweet dreams. You are the shadows of the night. You are the flowers of the garden. You are the flowers of the garden. You are the flowers. 你是爱，是暖，是诗的一篇；你是人间的四月天In 1928, Nanjing became the new capital of the Republic of China, which was then a country unified in name but split by the ongoing warfare among the warlords. In the south, the power of communism was beginning to rise. On the horizon, China's ferocious neighbor, Japan, with its ambitions to invade, was looming large. However, it was during this period. That China's national capitalism was advancing rapidly and creating the so-called golden decade. Against this backdrop walked a number of architectural scholars, loaded with backpacks of sustenance and measuring instruments. They were en route to discover ancient Chinese architecture. We arrived at the bus station before five o'clock, but the bus did not arrive until seven. The station was located in the middle of a pig market, where all the pigs for daily consumption in Beiping were allocated and transported. So, with the wailing of over 2,000 pigs that day, we got on the bus and left Chaoyongmen. The first thing we did after we got off the bus was to look for a hotel. The places we saw were infested with flies, and the cattle were fed right below the windows. Farmers by the roadside lifted pails of water from the well, which drew us over for a drink. However, the water was full of floating things, and we had to move ahead without quenching our thirst. Sizhuang, we have been out for two weeks, and now it is time to return. I am willing to take whatever transportation at whatever time. We had to trudge in deep sweat to visit each site, and it was always between eight and six. 
the hottest time of the day. During the past three days, we have all become exhausted, and we have been poorly fed. We are less energetic than we were last week. Tormented by fleas, we were too timid to catch them while seated in third-class train. So we ended up with bites all over us. Every new discovery during their journey offered a panacea for all their trials and tribulations. The Amitabha in front of the Sutra Storage Hall still greeted us with a smile. Behind it, we crossed the platform to move upward. There, we found the upper structure of the Sutra Hall consisting of exquisite bracket sets that were exactly the same as those in building standards. Along with many other remarkable constructions, we were in ecstasy. When we arrived in Shanxi, the azure of the sky was nearly transparent, and the flowing clouds were mesmerizing. The corner of a temple and a pagoda in the sunset. The beauty of such scenery pierced my heart, and even hurt a little. As I looked up, I saw no ceiling in the hall. What the building standards called creating a penetrating bright revelation. The intricate structure of the beams and lintel are without parallel in later architecture. My disappointment vanished at once to be replaced by joy. Within a few months after we discovered the Temple of Solitary Joy in Ji County, another piece of Liao architecture was discovered. My share of the happiness was indeed oversized. The teacher came, as did the soldiers with their horses, and several women stood at the side, a bit shy, hand in hand, to watch us. Children fought to watch us taking photos, measuring facades, and the teachers helped us to copy the script on the tome. How many years had it seen? They asked us with pride. Many, many, we answered happily. About one thousand four hundred years. One thousand four hundred years. Then we all took pride in the temple. Is who laughed that sweet, that sweet, that sweet, that sweet. 蹦出天真，清泉的浮动泛流到水面上，璀璨分散。是谁笑成这百层塔高耸，让不知名鸟雀来盘旋？是谁笑成这万千个风铃的转动，从每一层琉璃的檐边摇上云天？And again, ancient architecture in various parts of China was discovered by these tenacious scholars, and the photos, measurements, and records in their field reports were pleasant surprises. However, during this time of war and turbulence, the best use for these buildings was to house soldiers and to store sustenance for the army. In conservative towns, some people were inspired by fashion to try to modernize the ancient architecture. As a result, the original masterpiece was destroyed by stupidity and arrogance. Such attempts at destruction often first targeted the carved windows, doors, and screens. It was a rare opportunity for us to discover a real masterpiece, beautiful and intact, and unscathed by nature or man. After all, a spark of incense could bring down an entire temple. As the whole nation and its culture are confronting a crisis, those well informed about the ancient arts are saddened. If we fail to sort out. And protect the legacy of our ancestors, and allow these treasures to be spoiled, or even to be sold to second-hand shops. 
it will only prove the irrevocable fall of our morality and intelligence. To put it simply, recently, a number of devoted architects have given up their prospects of benefiting from building Western houses to travel around China and to discover and measure the great works of their counterparts who lived hundreds of years earlier. In the autumn of 1933, after Lin Huiyin's essay was published, Liang Sichung, Liu Dunjian, and Mo Zongjiang, who were traveling in Shanxi, reached the Wooden Pagoda in Ying County. Today, we visited the Pagoda of Fogong Temple, a sight that immediately took my breath away. My first response was to lament that you were not here to share it with me. Had you been here, I cannot imagine how enamored you would have been with it. The pagoda is unparalleled in its greatness. No one can imagine such a possibility of a wooden construction before setting eyes on it. I admire it from the bottom of my heart, the pagoda and its master, a nameless architect in an age of old. Another Liao period building, the wooden pagoda, was built in 1038 AD, as old as the Buddha Sutra Hall, the Japanese.